Hi, I'm Peter and I live there, in the clock tower of St Pancras Chambers. I was very lucky about 15 years ago to hear that the St Pancras Chambers here was being converted into apartments and I was able to persuade them to sell me the clock tower. Under the clock up there, above the balcony, is where I've got my apartment and I'd like to show you around what we've done to turn the building into a living home and a wonderful space that we can share with people who've, who love this building from the 19th century. Right, come along in and come and see the St Pancras clock tower up here. So here we go, up into the tower itself, under the clock. So we've got this great big room here. Well, this is the sort of pride and joy of the flat, and it's uh, under the clock itself, which is above the ceiling. Uh, and the, um, the table you can see is set for, for example, a nice lunch or dinner. We do exclusive tastings of uh, menus around the table here. Uh, and uh, we also use the room for musicians. Got a piano here so we can have music. And uh, quite often we have small concerts. It's a great room for things like uh, singer-songwriters doing performances or small chamber groups or small jazz groups. Yeah. Well, when I bought this clock tower, yeah. I had an idea which was how about doing a series of pictures of clock towers around the world? And there were an awful lot of clock towers, mostly on churches. So my rule to the photographer who did the work was, don't take any pictures of churches. Yeah. They've all got to be secular buildings. So this huge staircase here goes all the way up four stories to the um, clock itself, where the uh, people who have to maintain it come to check it out every so often, although it's going pretty well these days. Uh, and this is the original 19th century staircase. And we put in another staircase in here, which is a spiral staircase, which we've put in uh, for a galleried library here above. You can go and uh, peruse some of the novels I've got on the shelves up here uh, and look down on, the, on, the, on the, everyone else having their dinner. Uh, the flat itself is um, not that expensive to maintain. What is expensive is the outside of the building. Each year we probably have to pay about three and a half thousand pounds a month for our service charges just to keep the building standing. Yeah, so this is the kitchen and uh, this is a fantastic place because you've got the timber beams. You can see the whole roof structure uh, and uh, we have um, regular catering and things that we do here uh, and uh, it's a lovely opportunity to be able to share this space. If you look over here you'll see the King's Cross uh, Square outside which wasn't here when I moved here. I've got a Christmas market out there that I'm looking out over today and so some nice ham and beef and things like that you can go and buy. <laughs> and sitting having a morning coffee I can check the time because I can look up at the window here and you can see the time on the clock uh, through the window there. The St Pancras clock is exposed uh, through that window. Okay, so let's go down to the bedrooms. I've got two bedrooms downstairs. Um, I'll show you the master bedroom, the one that uh, we're most proud of, with the fantastic bathroom that it's got inside. And, uh, here we've got uh, a room which I've managed to keep as a single room. They were going to split it, but I told them, no, don't split it into a bedroom and a bathroom. Put the bathroom up on a platform so you can actually have a bath looking out through the windows at the people coming in and out of King's Cross Station. Well, when I came here, this wall was blank and I thought, that's the perfect place to put a bookcase, but actually it's pretty high. I think I'm going to have to have something made to measure. So fortunately I knew a good joiner and he came and spent 10 days working here building this bookcase. And it's fantastic with this fantastic library ladder so that I can go up and collect the books from the top shelves if I want to read something like this. People who are buying places like this, you shouldn't invest in a place like this. You buy it somewhere to live and enjoy. I bought this because I wanted to enjoy it myself and I wanted my friends to be able to come and enjoy it, sit around the table, play some music, just enjoy chilling out here. So that's what I wanted it for.